An Ontario dental hygienist was recently awarded 24 months pay as severance after unfavorable changes to her employment. It's one example of some of the changes older, long-serving employees could face on the job. We are joined this morning by Alex Lucifero, Managing Associate of Semphiro to Markin LLP. Alex, good morning. Thanks morning, for Annette. coming in. Thanks for having me. Tell us about this case. What happened? So this is a situation where we are talking about a 33-year uh, dental hygienist for a dentist's office. Uh, effectively, uh, to cut a long story short, uh, the uh, office tried to impose some pretty significant changes on, on the employee's terms of employment moving forward. And uh, these were unfavorable terms. They would have drastically altered the terms of employment. They would have had a significant financial impact on this particular employee. Uh, and to her credit, the employee stood up for herself and said, no, I'm not accepting these changes. Uh, and we were able to extricate her from that situation. And the result of that was effectively 24 months of full compensation. So it's a lesson for longer term, older employees of companies. Uh, you know, our, our employment laws in Ontario are generally pretty favorable and, and, and pretty strong. Uh, at least comparatively speaking to our, our neighbors to the south and mm -hmm. to the east. Um, however, those protections for older employees and for, more importantly, longer term employees uh, are enhanced and, and, and even more favorable. So good on her for standing up for her rights. Absolutely. Do most of us know what our rights are as employees? Uh, unfortunately not. Unfortunately, most employees know only a fraction of, of what their uh, actual rights and obligations are in the workplace. Um, you know, an example we see all the time is if an employee is let go, they'll go directly to the Ministry of Labor to find out what a reasonable severance package is, and that is the wrong move. The Ministry of Labor could only advise an employee on their minimum entitlements when it comes to termination and okay. severance pay. Um, and again, that's a fraction of what they would actually be owed in that kind of situation. Because an employer is actually only required to pay that minimum? Or no, absolutely not. No, that's a bare bones kind of floor. That's what they'll um, do, though. Exactly. Try well, that's to do. what they'll try to do because, well, it's the bare bones minimums. Otherwise, sure. they would be in trouble with the Ministry of Labor. But the real way in which severance is calculated, at least in Ontario, is that it's going to be based on your age, uh, your years of service with the company, and your position with that company. Let's go through a couple other scenarios. So, what sure. if you work for a company that's sold to a no new owner? Are they allowed to change your existing terms of employment? Great question. So, uh, and this goes back to the uh, the case involving the dental hygienist. I mean, the short the short answer to that is no. Um, and so, in a situation like that, with there there is the sale and purchase of a business. Number one, you know, the most important thing to note is that your previous years of service as an employee with the selling employer will carry on with the purchasing employer. So you don't lose your years of service when an employer sells to a new company. The second to, to no thing to note is that. Uh, no, and as, as we just mentioned and touched on, uh, the terms of employment have to stay the same. Um, now, there could be minor changes to, to those terms, however, a significant change, and in this case it was the change to uh, layoff provisions in an employee manual, uh, those are effectively not allowed and illegal. In a case where you are taken into your boss's office and you are presented with uh, a termination package, uh, I would assume that there would be pressure in a lot of cases to sign as quick as possible on the, the behalf of the employer. Is it that employee's right to immediately go seek out a lawyer, seek out as much advice as they can before signing? They're not required to sign anything right then Absolutely and there, are they? Absolutely not, uh, and unfortunately we do see that. I actually, we actually spoke with a gentleman uh, just yesterday that was put into that position, a long service employee. Hopefully we can uh, assist him, but um, no, there is absolutely no legal obligation to sign on the spot. Uh, certainly both from a legal point of view and, and, and in terms of a piece of practical advice, uh, take that document, you know, whatever it is, whether it's a change to your employment yeah. or an employment termination, take that information home with you, contact an employment lawyer, or at the very least consider it, uh, digest it, and, and then make a decision. You can't make a decision like that on the spot. What about someone who's uh, getting close to retirement or contemplating retirement, a long-serving employee being asked by their bosses to consider retirement, the boss is bringing that up with the employee, uh, or kind of feeling like they're being pushed to retire. Is that allowed? Yeah. Yeah, this is actually a, a very straightforward situation, and I imagine most people know this already, although, uh, you know, to set the, uh, the uh, kind of story straight, uh, there is no mandatory age of retirement in Ontario. It's not 65, it's not 67, it's not 70. An employer cannot force you to retire. Uh, the, the mere mention of retirement or asking an employee to retire is potentially discrimination, wow. uh, and it would be considered age discrimination, uh, and that's contrary to, you know, several uh, pieces of legislation in Ontario, but particularly the Human Rights Code. Uh, it's a no-go zone for employers, you cannot force someone to retire uh, and be very, very careful uh, with older employees and mentioning that word alone. 
Alex, thank you very much. Great advice, Alex Lucifer, My with uh, some fair to Merkin. And uh, you can catch uh, a new show that is uh, starting on uh, CTV Ottawa at 9 o'clock. Samfira Lutumarkin LLP presents the Employment Hour in 30 Minutes.